There are two kind of main ways that a user could become unblinded in a study via RTSO. The first key way is going to be through the product itself. So that is by viewing a workflow or a report or a notification that contains very blatant blinded data, such as treatment information. The second way that might be even more common is people in process. There's going to be numerous interactions between a mix of study personnel from the sponsor to the site, to the CRO. There may be questions and need for clarifications or requests that are made by maybe an unblinded staff member where that communication contains unblinding information. And if the RTSM support person or personnel or project manager who receives that communication is not fully dialed into the industry and understanding of the implications of the data that they are actually handling, that email is the most common way that it will happen. That email may then be mistakenly forwarded on and include the blinded sponsor email addresses right into the notification, thereby unblinding one patient potentially unblinding multiple.